Every day, more arrive and more leave, but most stay a while, a restorative stopover. This corner of the Yukon is among the earliest to be ice-free, making it ideal for the swans. In, in looking at um, the swans out there, we would say dagai, dagai, much like kanawa. So we see lots of lots of uh, swans swimming around. Today there are about 1,300 swans here. Um, Kwanlin Dun chief Sean Smith says their arrival marks the land waking up from its long winter sleep. The place has a strong, strong uh, uh, his- historical um, uh, connection to the Tagishwan people. And it's become a significant spot for many Yukoners. The interpretive center here, called Swan Haven, is marking 30 years. Just like the birds, people migrate back here every spring. I think it's just a, a real example of how Swan Haven has a legacy now. And um, we're on to like second generation of Yukoners that are coming out and enjoying it. And um, no matter kind of what's going on in the world, people still appreciate coming out and celebrating the return of spring on the wings of the swans. There have been changes in those 30 years. The swans arriving earlier, for example. This year, they're at least a week ahead of schedule, and that's not the only change. You know, back in the 70s, there was maybe there was a couple of thousand coming through here, and now the numbers have, co- have gone way up. So I mean, there's more nesting in Alaska and more nesting here. So it's, it's a huge success story. One of the, sadly, one of the few that we have in conservation. A lot of the stories are not good ones, but this is a really good one. So. Swan Haven is the largest gathering of trumpeter swans in one place at one time in North America. The swan migration will continue with many resting here for a while over the next couple of weeks, a chance for people to take in the sights and the sounds. Cheryl Kawaja, CBC News, McClintock Bay, Yukon.